Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Wuthering Waves. Uh, we are continuing the story from where we left off last time. Uh, this long, long quest chain, lag spike. I expect some of those right at the start, right after I launch up the game. Maybe I'll just uh, refrain from sprinting for a while. Oh, oh, okay. So I need to head to, I believe, the big dome. Now, um, this is going to be... I'm expecting a massive boss fight. And I think it'll probably end off this story story segment. This segment of the storyline. Holy, the lag's a little bit. Uh. Oh, these guys are pretty weak. I'm level 35. Save up my um, skill, a special. Okay. Oh, here you are. Okay, well, I can't move, so I'll just have to wait for the game to catch up with me. <laughs> Those monsters have occupied the emplacement with a surprise attack, but a few brave troops are still holding on. We've blocked off access to protect our base, but I'm opening it up for you. Please, they need your help. We're counting on you. Sure, Buster. skill. <laughs> it is still not as laggy um, as if I didn't put down the graphics a little bit. One with the sounds. Let me be your blade. Synchronization. Whoa, I against the wind. Funny. Against the wind. Oh, I can just go over here. <laughs> Beware. Oh, and he restored his health. Why are you going up back over here? Gotta be joking. Despite Yang Yang's efforts to help the soldier, it seems the soldier's condition is no longer showing any signs of improvement. This 
Reparation key. Take it. I may not see our victory in person, but please, please defeat that monster for us. Thank you. I like the animation during this part. <sighs> Take the truck from coming to these. Whoa, leg. Let the winds roar. Let's got all of them. Fifty percent charge. Enemies ahead. Watch out, Rover. Swift and resolute. Huh. 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 I sense your weakness, one with the sound. Disruptors at 80%. Their offense is weakening. Hold on just a little longer, Rover. The end has come. I hate these guys. This rupture's fully charged. Rover, let's take out the remaining tasks of discords together. Where are they? Oh, we just keep on going down. Oh, it's number 46, big boy. Sounds come forth. Keep it together. Let me be your blade. Tempest, storm, hear my command. Synchronization. Swift and resolute. The hour is upon us. One with the sound. Strike from the shadow. Let me be your blade. Synchronization. Shake the shapeless. Hopefully that position. Yeah, that's perfect. and resolute. That was sick. Sick animation on their final spin. General. Well done. Rain has stopped. General, the Retroact Rain's effects are subsiding. We are observing a sharp decline in the number of TDs in the Norfall Barrens. The Disruptor is fully charged and ready to fire. But... <laughs> it takes a lot of energy to fire the Disruptor. If we missed... This is our only chance. Greetings. Fire him. Break the shield, I think. Is As that what we're trying to do? Jinjo, I've obtained the approval to use the disruptor in combat. The enormous energy consumption, the risk of a misfire, and the weight of this decision. I will bear the responsibility. I alone will be accountable for the outcome of this battle. Whatever it may be. General. Rover, please march on. May victory prevail the lasting night. I pray for your safe return. I quite like to see um, voice actor. Madam it's come to my attention that all the voice actors in this show, in the not show, in this um game, are ones I've never seen before. Are completely new. Attentional units. I have a feeling. Do everything you can to assist. You are authorized to use the disruptor. When did, when did they the get Norfolk Barons? Defend Jinjo at all costs! 
Oh boy. Do I get to fire it? <laughs> are we gonna... Are we gonna hit our mark? Maybe we won't, and then we'll have to actually go in and fight. Oh, I love hand sanitizer. Yeah, cutscene, here we go. Ooh, do we... Do we strike? Where do we need to hit? Did we... Oh, we hit the shield. I think... I think a hole... Is that a hole opening up in the shield? Oh no, the shield's just going away. That's a really big, um... Golem, by the way. <laughs> Here we go. Here it goes. Do you do a lag, I think? Yeah, a little bit. Although I lag less during the cutscenes than during actual gameplay, though, for some reason. we go. Just me, Rose Spectro, Gian, Yang Yang, and Jensi. Leave it to me. Should we bother fighting those guys? I'm actually not gonna bother. Hey, yikes. Those guys don't look very friendly. This has a lot more fighting, a lot more main story fighting than Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail, and I love it. Is that a freaking bear? Unstop. She has almost no sound effects when she fights. Incoming, beware. I have to go this one. I, I hate him. I hate these guys. So annoying. Okay. Let's check. Almost is done. It's just GN's ultimate that I need to... Here we go. Landed. Oh, there's a guy with a bow. And Jansin. There's too many of them. Someone must stay behind to keep them at bay. Everyone, let's part ways here. Carry on with your mission. You can leave the rest to me. And a boss member of our party. Follow me. We're going down from here. Whoa. Mind the cliff. This is sick. I kind of love that that was that that was, um, that, that it stopped me to do the whoa, jeez. Can see these guys here. I just smashed that thing into the ground. Reach the suspended ruins. We'll get going once you're ready. It's unusually quiet inside. Tread with caught this wall. We should be able to pull it away with our grapple. I wonder if you can find chests in this area. Oh? 
In the suspended ruins, there are some walls and debris that have been corroded and damaged. You can use the pull function to move or destroy these objects. Cool. Got one try to... Oh, okay. What was there? Do we have to pull the rocks out of its chest? <laughs> Let's just check this. Rover, be careful. Something bigger might be waiting for us ahead. You think? Can't have a. <laughs> Press on. That's the only. That's the only quest. This looks like the perfect place for a boss. Oh, or not? Just these guys. But it won't stop us. Tell truth from the side. Swift and resolute. Huh. One with the sound. Huh. Huh. Moment of resonance. Huh. Huh. Let me be your blade. Huh. Something bigger. Were those the big things we were worrying about? Or is there something more? The enemies are increasingly strong as we approach the statue. Or not, I guess. Have you been injured, Rover? Yang Yang? Nah, -uh. I've fought many of those guys before. Okay, but Rover, he. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Uh, Bro's a manly man. The battle has left you with a few scratches. I still Just a have few. some first aid with me. Please use them. The upcoming battles will be even more dangerous. Should you get injured, you must let me know in time. Let's keep moving. Let's go. Okay, that was the old the enemies I need to defeat. Oh, up here. There are several floating platforms ahead. Perhaps we can make use of them. I just straight died. Whoa, and then I pulled myself up to it using the flying platform. That was sick. Watch out. I can feel tacit discords ahead. Well, as expected. Also, they're not getting increasingly difficult. These are the same guys as before. Ready for battle. Set. Tell truth to the side. Let's get rid of it. These rocks are blocking our way. We'll need to get rid of them. Finally. Rover, you hear me? Our signals got blocked off by the Thronodian's power. It took us a lot of effort to make this call get through. I have to say, your terminal has a very intriguing design. We'd love to thoroughly investigate it once we have the chance. Now back to business. We are aware of your situation. Luckily, your current location is still within the disruptor's range. We can provide fire support. You've seen what the disruptor is capable of. We could turn down the output power, but I strongly advise finding cover far away. The structure of this building is almost entirely destroyed. We'll need to create a safe space where we can take cover. There is a floating platform over there. Perhaps we can make use of it. That's an idea. Aim at that wall. We can pull ourselves over. That's sick. <laughs> There's also chest on it. <laughs> More to pee. It's time. Really? We're not far away. Understood. Watch out, everyone. Well, I guess we were far enough away. We did it. But also, standard supply chest. Nice. We can only fire it one more time. After that, it needs to recharge. Take care, everyone. I'm 
on standby to help you anytime. Let's try pulling the floating boulders together. This should make our path ahead. This 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 that that gimmick is sick. I love it. One moment, Rover. We can work the terrain to our advantage here. Let's try to pull that wall down on them, and they'll be trapped underneath. Well done. That was kind of that was cool. Oh, I can just do that. <laughs> Same situation. Let's do it again. That was cool. Permanence here. This place. Rover. Let's approach it with care. Here and that's a boss. Wind rider. Kill troop on the side. Good now. Swift and resolute. The end has come. No hesitate one with the sound. Bad timing. That was not great. Ready for battle. Kill tree from the sun. Don't you worry. Break! Pretty difficult, pretty tough. So many enemies along the way. I couldn't have made it past them so fast without you. Thanks, bro. We're almost there. The statue's power is getting stronger. I can feel it. We don't have much time left. Let's move on. We'll win this fight. I love the moving the platform gimmick, it's super cool. There. Then how are we going to climb up? I can see a gravity stream ahead. It's currently blocked off. We'll pull the rocks away first, then let it carry us up there. I just did. <laughs> oh, stairs. I'm just stupid. Stairs, there are stairs. And, uh... Advanced supply chest. Could have got pulled that away. I'm guessing that's where I need to go next. Right up to here. Maybe we can make our way across. Oh. I did not mean to do that. My bad. No, 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 no. Jeez. Skill issues. Skill issues all around. It moved a little. Let's give it a couple more. Almost there. <sighs> we finally did it. Okay, now I just need to get up here. We'll reach the top soon. Some pretty intense gameplay. I like this, this is cool. Genshin could never. The road 
head is completely blocked off. You choose where the disruptor's last blast hits. Make it count, Rover. May it cleave out a path for us. Do I have to pull that rock away from its from its core? Oh, I'm having a problem in the head, eh? Here come other guys. The test discords. Fire the disruptor again. We just have to fight our way through. Or hill. So. Yeah, Yang, you. The Trinodian is only going to summon more of them as we go. We need someone to keep them away and escort the others into the statue. I understand you're planning to do it yourself, General. And I think I am better suited for this task. Yang Yang's voice acting is growing on me. once and for all. I understand that you don't want to leave anyone behind. But we all know you and Rover have the best chance against that monster. Now that our shared goal is within hand's reach, I... I do not want to let it slip away. Indeed, Yang Yang. Turns out I was the one being indecisive. Now, Rover. Please make the call. I'll stand guard here. The Thrinodian will not be able to draw more power from the monsters. Lip syncing is also good when my game's not lagging. <laughs> That's a lot though. <laughs> Pull that away. Is that the Thernodian? The statue? It's humongous. Cutscene. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. That was sick. Right at the core. See how there's like no lag during this intense cutscene? If there's anything I'm glad for, it's that. <laughs> Dude, this is sick. Oh my god. Did he just kick his spear out of the ground? Here it comes. Here comes something. We're gonna have to fend off a waves of tattered discords. It seems the culprit is headed deep within this statue. This will be our final battle with this Renodian. Rover, are you ready? Ready to kick some Thernodian ass. Thernodian ass. Yes, Let's bring an end to this war once and for all. Here it goes. Trailer isn't there to lift the party. Into heart of the crownless. Here we go. And now we're gonna have to wait a little bit. Let's see if there's any new ones here that I can read out. I don't think so. I think I've read through everything that I can read through. Oh, it's at three two. It might it might go a little bit faster than what I think. Oh. Oh, there we go. It actually did go a lot faster than I thought it would, <laughs> considering we're going into an entirely new domain. That's another moon. What on earth is happening? Oh, there he is. 
There's a Threnodian, I think. The Crownless. Yeah. The Threnodian has reconstructed its frequencies. The Crownless. I think we've beaten him before. Although, definitely not at this strength. I think we beat him at a tacit, um, a tacit place. Holy crap. When you just spam click and somehow it works. It's been immobilized. Time to strike. Those frequencies we just crashed. The moon is drawing them in. Did we just beat him already? No way. Yeah, no. There's, there's, there's more. That wasn't the real Cronodian. Maybe the moon is. Hold on, this is sick. Whoa! Jesus. Here he comes. The crownless. Ho oh, ho. This is going to be one intense battle. Jesus, damn. That moon has cannibalized the crownless's remaining frequencies to create another monster. Cannibalized? I remember I saw it during the battle beneath the crescent. I find it easier to dodge than to... The hour is upon us. You're wide open. Tell truth from the side. This is the swordsmanship we teach our new recruits. How dare you! Whoa. Swift and resolute. I think I managed to block that that attack. Wind Rider. Tell truth on the side. Ha! Wind out. Swift and resolute. Smashed one of its. <laughs> oh, but it's back. Oh boy. Don't exactly know how much damage to it I did to it. I wasn't looking at the health bar, but was that the entire thing? Are we giving it? A, are we giving it a second health bar? I think we are. This. Have you noticed? It avoids attacking the moon behind. That moon must be a cool. Shit. Oh my god, I'm being pummeled. I am being- I just got so pummeled. Okay, I think it- it seems like I can just spam attacks. Whoa. 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 Oh my word. Jesus. Leave it to me. I don't know what I'm doing. There's no sound. I have the sound. Did I just jump into the massive beam of purple light? GN's GN the man's got it. Uh oh. Go on, Rover. Oh. 
Whoa. This cutscene's sick. These all in fact all the cutscenes in this game are sick. Reach for its throat. Burn it. Kill it. It's giggling. Show him who's boss. That's right. Oh, this, am I? Oh, I grew wings. Am I sucking it in? Am I? Oh, it's back down to the ground. Woohoo! This is so good. It's back down. Now it's just me against it. Is it going to take more damage now? Whoever gains a new ability, dealing havoc damage and gaining Umbra stacks with each attack. When Umbra is full, Rover can unleash their power with a heavy attack and enter the Dark Surge state. Dodge that one. Ow, shit. Who joined the party? Ready, careful. You did. No truth from the side. I can take it. Time to fight back. For now. Tell truth from the side. With the curtain, what the sound? Effect. You're wide open. Well, it caught my attack. This is insane. This is crazy. <laughs> Don't you worry. Whoa. That did a lot of damage. Okay, we took it out. Or at least got that health bar down. Is it gonna have a third one? Oh, the dragon knocked his weapon away. Whoa. This is insane. Only got one wing. Uh-oh. Oh, oh yes, yeah, suck it in. 
get this Anodian power. Or not. It's exploding. Now, yes, suck it in. Suck in the explosion, too. <laughs> Jesus, man. What the hell's that? <laughs> I have no idea. That was a cool shot. What is that? <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> as the conceptualization of war, somehow it opted to flee instead of fighting us properly. <sighs> what the hell is that? Rover, is that? Whoa, that was odd. This place is collapsing soon. Let's get out of here first. Oh, nice. A premium supply chest. Let's go. Oh, I check here. Nah. I'll be checking characters. Let me be there for everyone. Okay. I can't check my future, characters. Leaving the past behind. The Let me be there for everyone. At least. Not yet. Gather round, I have a tale to spin. Our feather-haired maiden faces a horde of beasts. And just in time, a ray of light. Sunbeams burst through the clouds, banishing darkness out of sight. I'm pretty sure it's not lag. This isn't lag, it was, that was actually From how it was supposed to be played. To, guess who we have? None other than General Jian and the legendary rover. And lo, ruins fell, a colossus shattered, the Overthrax meets its defeat. Mountains and rivers exulted in glee as the war's finale came to be. As they say, How do they come up with names like this? Why fear when fate is ours to shape? Oh, you. Setbacks, heroes will rise to conquer. Don't think she's a hero. Determination fuels the fire of hope. She in is darkest hour. Under starlit skies, we battled divine loom. Camellia, Tai Chi, Tao, Tao Chi. I think. Of shall shake the clouds. I think that's her name. Chisia. Uh, and I forgot the other guy's name. Goes on. Ling Yang, maybe? Sounds familiar. The story goes on. So it does. I'm not sure what the story will uh, what will follow for the story now, but that was phenomenal. That story was insane. Okay, now I've got a little loading thing. Okay. Pretty long loading sequence, yeah. I wonder when we'll see the um, shorekeeper. I think she's probably the most recent update, right? So like, I doubt we'll see her for quite a while.
resonance conversion. Understood. Let me be there for everyone. As we head toward our shared future, leaving the past behind. Understood. I am here to serve your will. Hopefully, we'll make new findings. Time for- Let me be there for everyone. As we head toward our shared future, leaving the past behind. Oh, I'm very close to six. Okay, I think I need to go up resonance. I think I need to go up levels. Yeah, Union. Oh, only Union level 21, though. Uh, so that's not far away. I think. I believe I can get that if I just. If I just. Oh, if I just do this. They're teleporting. If I just do this successfully, I should be able to do that. Go. Yeah, my union level's 20. Well, about 2,000... 2,500 over 20. So I, all I need to do is this, and I will... Um, the phase ascension trial, and I'll do it. And I'll be level, and I'll level up. But... The problem is with this, is that it's just... It's just annoyingly hard. Although I'm, I've leveled up... My characters somewhat since I last tried it, so let's see if I can do it. Although let me just uh, test check something real quick. Here. Hopefully, we'll make new findings. You only have one. Give you that. Okay. That'll do. Okay. Yeah, this is the people I'll go with. I wonder how long this will take to load me in here. Probably not too long, right? Yeah, there we go. At your disposal. Astral modulation. Stay calm. Here we go again. Fully stampede. You're in for it now. This is so much fun. You're in. Leave it to me. Transform. Oh, 
Yes, it did. <laughs> well, I engraft you new. Transformed. Here we go again. You're into woolly belly, you go. Leave it to me. Shit. Why did you have to die? Okay. Physical damage detected. In war with time. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Transformed. Durability lowered. Just gotta feed this guy. I think. Please. Die. Yes. At your disposal. Good lord. Okay. Even with Uncle dead, we still managed to do it. <laughs> It was difficult. We did it with 18 seconds to spare, I believe. And I'm all, and I'm up, yeah, level 22 all of a sudden. Is that co-op mode? Uh, trophies. Understood. I need four, four, and three. Yeah, none of which I have. Pangwa's restaurant and talk to your friends. Yes. Stars as well. Star streams through things as you mount the expedition to the depths of the universe. Yeah. Enterprise of tides.
gifts of sea breeze. Uh, that's the trial run. She's got a pretty gorgeous design, to be honest. Alright. I could do that for extra of those things, but anyways, let me just go to convene real quick. What are the hmm, interesting up here? from that statue. Two forces clashed and collided, and later, one of them emerged victorious, vanquishing the other in a violent clash. General Jian and Rover later told me it was this little thing coming out of Rover's body. It was blocking or even consuming the overflow of Thrinodian power. It reminded me of how Rover once absorbed frequency energy with her body in a similar fashion. So, we took her to the academy for a checkup with Baiji. Apparently, Baiji. this storyline <laughs> is what we had detected before. It's a speculated space or organism hidden inside your body. Now we finally know. It shares similar frequencies with the tacit discord's reverberations. It resembles an echo processed by the data bank, stored inside your body instead of a terminal. In other words, it's your own echo, captured or absorbed at some point. Without you, it can't manifest. That's why Baiju couldn't confirm just how you absorbed that echo back then. Was it you? Was it the little one? Or maybe the two of you together? And Baija discovered more after analyzing your spectrums. She found a new power source within you, similar to the crownless, but even stronger. This power comes from the tacit discord you defeated in Norfolk Barrens. So, Nice. The excess energy this little thing had consumed somehow ended up in your body, available at your disposal. In other words, there's a deeper connection between the two of you. Or, according to Baiju, it's a convergent codependency. Uh, to put it simply, you are connected. While you are two separate individuals, your energies and vitals can affect each other, for better or for worse. You may even feel each other's emotions. The bond between you and this creature is symbiotic. As it strengthens, so do you. However, if one is harmed, the other suffers. Fortunately, suffers. since it can't ever leave your side, it's not an easy target for attackers. And if they do strike, it can seek shelter inside your body for safety. Okay, now that's pretty much it. Baija was going to explain it to Zhao Zhao. herself, but she has to go check on a newly appeared Sonora Sphere in Zhao Zhou. 
Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Uh, this is too much information for it me. It ate all the food. Let me get this straight. Uh. So, it helped Rover fight off mm. the Trinodian? Mm. Seriously? Mm. This teeny tiny thing could do that? <laughs> Seems mm. unlikely. Mm. <laughs> Funny. Don't look down on me. You'll regret it when you learn what I'm capable of. That poker-faced researcher was absolutely shocked when she examined me. <laughs> Said I'm not just any echo. I'm a super duper cool one. Rarest of them all. <laughs> While those aren't Baidra's exact words, that is what she meant. She mentioned highly intelligent echoes that can act on their own in other countries, said they are involved in every aspect of human life with unique abilities beyond our imagination. Those echoes are rare, though. Neither I nor Baidra, an eco-acoustics expert, have ever seen one in person. But this little thing here, it could be one of those foreign echoes. Yeah, makes sense. Now we just gotta figure out where it came from. Who knows? We may find other cool echoes in that place. Well, both General Gian and Baija have confirmed it. No way they're lying. I'll admit, the thought of someone else having an echo inside them sounds pretty crazy to me. But with you, anything's possible. You can absorb reverberations with just your hands, like the legend says. So maybe one day you just stumbled upon this little thing and soaked it up like a sponge. Soaked it up sounds like a sponge. Useful, I guess. So... Do you know where exactly she absorbed you? Huh? How am I supposed to know? Why don't you just ask her? Tusk, tusk. Don't take that tone with me. <laughs> but even if Echoes can have memories, they probably wouldn't remember things earlier than their first manifestation. I wonder if that's the case with this little one too. Aha! Finally! Someone with common sense. That green-haired, serious guy asked me a similar question. Sorry to disappoint, but I really don't remember anything before I showed up. Hmm, maybe... Maybe... I was just sleeping inside her this whole time. So of course I don't remember. Sleeping? Seriously? It's been so long. All those happenings, all that fighting, and you didn't hear anything? Wow, that's... Your sleeping quality is really something. Hmm. Oh, uh, so you've got privacy to be respected. <laughs> Don't worry. Your body's sound insulation is amazing. Dive into it, and everything goes quiet. <laughs> <laughs> the wording the there, bro. The problem is, I never know when I'll wake up again. And when I do wake up, I get tired and hungry fast. So I have to crawl back in for more rest. <gasps> I know. It's all because... I'm not eating enough. That's why you kept disappearing. You went back to sleep from lack of energy. Makes sense. Regular echoes need to be powered by the terminal, too. Hmm. I thought you'd be really different from the usual ones we see. Turns out you share a lot in common. So you probably don't know your denomination or a nickname. No wonder everyone's been calling you the little one. Denomination? What's that? The universally agreed terms for special echoes, like names for humans. 
They're named based on their characteristics, abilities, and places of origin. My denomination. It's... It's... I don't know. Do I not have a name at all? What? No way. No way. That's not fair. If all the special echoes have names, how can I not have one? I don't want to be called the little one all the time. It doesn't sound cool at all. How about this? You help me come up with a name, and I will let you have some of the food. Oh. <laughs> There's nothing left. <laughs> uh. uh next time next time i'll definitely save some for you just uh just give me a name please <laughs> sparkling eyeballs a name now yes i want it now look your name's tisha your name's yang yang and you uh, your name is... Heh, that sounds interesting. Wait, didn't you forget everything? How do you still remember? I just came up with it, it's my new name now. With your old name and memories all gone, it's a good idea to go with a new one. It makes everything more convenient and represents a fresh start. Yeah! Exactly like she said! Every one of you has a name, and I want one for myself too. I'm really not asking much. I just want a name that sounds a little cool, a little special, and epic, and super smoking! <laughs> God, the voice actor of that little thing is so good. Love it. That's true. Let's see. You want a cool one? Echo the Invincible. What about Echo the Invincible? What do you say? Nah. Nah. -uh. Absolutely no. That's too straightforward. It's it's no better than calling me the little one. <laughs> hey, it makes every difference in the world. I am Echo the Invincible. That's what a hero play character would say as their transformation call. <laughs> or uh, or maybe since you can fly and you've got those long ears, why don't you call yourself a uh, Righteous Raptor or Valor Hawk? <laughs> I don't think we should give Chishi as a, um, I don't think we should let Chishi a pick names. Why do they all sound so cringy? Why? I love it when people call me the Chinjo Speedster. Doesn't that sound awesome? Not really. Sure, if you say so. Anyway, they all sound like anything but my name. Absolutely no. Yeah, it's like... A title. <laughs> ah I knew Rover would come up with a good. Wait, why does it sound so random? <laughs> you didn't just pick two random syllables. Abby. <laughs> anything better that's catchy, impactful, and clever all at once. Uh, Abby... Abra... Abraxas? 
Mm -hmm. What's wrong? What are you muttering about? Abra... What? Sounds like you're reading a spell. Abracadabra, look at them. Uh, I don't know, but I just have this feeling that this is what my name should be. Okay, ready? Brexus. A Brexus Prime. <laughs> Abby. I like okay. the sound of that. <laughs> That's my name. Of course I like it. You came up with it for me. I was just trying to get used to it. That's all. Besides, I feel attached to this name now. <laughs> My name is Abby. You will not call me the little one again. Sure, we won't. Got it. Well, that didn't work out. I was hoping we could get some answers from the little... I mean, from Abby. But now we're back at square one. I really thought we could figure out where Abby came from. It might not lead us to other special echoes, but it's at least a starting point to uncover Rover's past. Then we'll have something to do before asking Madame Magistrate and our Sentinel about it again. Maybe we can start with Abby's special abilities instead. Each special echo has a unique ability. We can compare what Abby does with our records of other echoes to see where they came from. Besides, it was Abby's power that helped Rover defeat the Threnodian, I suppose. Why do you sound so unsure? Didn't you see it all with your own eyes? Hmm. Abby, can you show us again? I'm super curious how you did that. Who knows? We might learn something. Well, since you asked, I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> but this place is too crowded. Let's move to that open spot over there. <laughs> All right, him. All eyes on me. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he did? What's going on? I'll try again, just you see. Poof. Pop. No. <laughs> uh, just, just a little slip. That's all. I can do it. You gotta trust me. <laughs> so they constipated. I just stood in front of her, and that big Bathronodian monster thing just, uh, it just left. So, you didn't really do anything. Huh? No, I, I definitely did something. <laughs> Like I said, I was asleep, and then all of a sudden, I smelled something really yummy coming closer and closer. The Threnodian? Uh, it was like nothing I ever smelled before. I didn't have time to think. I just had to show up and reach out for it. So, maybe Abby's power activates automatically under certain circumstances. Perhaps Abby can't control it yet. Yeah, it looks that way. You can't even hold your shape for very long yet. Hey, hey, hey. Stop looking down on me. Like I said, it was just a little slip. Really. But I think about it. I just stood there and did nothing and ended up beating a Threnodian. Imagine what I could do if I actually tried. Hey, Rover, 
Get behind me next time you run into anything. Okay? I'll keep you safe. Promise. You're so real for that, Abby. You're so real for that. I said I'm super strong. I'll protect her. That's very reassuring to hear. But it seems we're stuck again. I can't think of anything else to check out. Knew it. Nothing about rovers ever going to be easy to figure out. Maybe we should bring Baija, Mr. Shangli, Yao, and all the researchers in Jinjo? No, in the entire Guangrong together? They'll do a nice and thorough examination on Abby, and then... Absolutely no! I said no! Told that poker-faced researcher already! I'll make it clear. I am to stay with Rover. I agree. Abby cannot leave Rover's side, but we can't just trap her here for research. Where did you absorb Abby? What are Abby's powers? And what exactly happened between you two? There are so many questions we can't figure out yet. Sentinel Joy can look into the future. Nothing ever deviates from its predictions. It has already sort of guided you to the Norfolk Barons through Madame Magistrate's messages, right? Now that the Thronodian crisis is over, perhaps you can consult our Magistrate and our Sentinel again. I'm sure they can offer you some more useful guidance. You have me now, remember? Meeting up with that Jinji person, getting your memories back. I've got you. Got you. Got you. Speaking of that, so this Sentinel can predict the future? That sounds cool. The name Jue sounds pretty cool too. It's almost as cool as mine. What does it look like? Where is it? Since we're paying it a visit, this. Sentinel should treat us with food, right? Mmm. I wonder how the food's gonna taste. British likes food. Our Sentinel protects every one of us. Of course it's cool. It's also a giant dragon. Why are you talking about food again? Didn't you just stuff your face? What? Is your stomach a black hole? I can't help it. I'm always starving. <laughs> After parting ways with Yang Yang and Chisha, you travel around Jinjo with Ab. Okay. Several days later. Alright. Head to the Gourmet Street. What to feed. Chisha is talking to someone. Come back when they're done talking. Grandpa Jingzhu, seriously, you're not well. Let's forget about capturing Echo's TD frequencies. We're now in here. Straight to the hospital, okay? No, if we don't capture an impressive Echo, I'll be too anxious to even think about eating or sleeping. Oh, come on, you shouldn't be out there chasing them at your age. Why do you have to get one? And because the person I like wants one. The person you like? Yes, you know, it's not usual for a man of my years to seek love, but I love her. She keeps rejecting me. She's into impressive Echo, so that's my way. That's my end. Sadly, I only have a whole toys. Round face, round head, far from impressive. If I could just get an echo that meets the standards, maybe she'd let me have a chance. Uh, Grandpa Jingju, are you really sure about that? Sounds a bit strange. It's not every day you see a lady keen on echoes. At least it seems to be the only way to her heart, despite the odds and resolve to attempt it. But not your best, you really should take some good rest. Who knows what might happen if you take another tumble, down, tumble that hillside. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said such things. Like but a little trolley, you're still too young to understand what love means. Enduring physical pain is one thing, but the egg of unrequited love is something even greater heroes can't overcome. We are capturing a prince of and seize my love. <laughs> now please reconsider, Grandpa Jingzhu. Echoes will always be there for you to capture. Once you recover, you can catch as many as you want. Once I recover? But kid, I grow tired of waiting. When will the opportunity arise again? Besides, Tessa Discord's most active recently, so it's the best time to capture a prince of Echoes. Got this chance to slip away. Okay, okay, how about this? I'll go catch you guys for you and you'll be go to the hospital. Is that okay? 
I don't want to bother you with my own issue. No worries, no trouble at all. After all, it's patrol's duty to take care of the residents' needs. And so right with me having you work over time for my personal issues, if you're going to help, you have to accept some compensation for my savings. It's the least I can do. Oh, no need to worry about paying me. I actually have a really skilled friend who could help, but if we hire her to help and see it, that's fine for me. Just leave it to me, Grandma Jinx, you know. Please go to the hospital and tend to your injuries. Oh, you for real? What? Seriously? Finally convinced Grandpa Jinx to go to the hospital. It's getting late and we should be arriving here soon. Wait, scared me. When did you get here? Let's start your conversation. What do you think? Great, you can make some extra money while having Grandpa Jinx. You talk about killing two birds with one stone, alright? Alright, then let's get prepped and roll out. I think not. Dreamweaver's Ascent. Oitamins exchange, I'll slay her coral. That was a weapon. Shop, maybe. No, I don't have any. Kind of crazy. Oh, yeah, there's a little thing to tell you. Okay. I've got to convene real quick. Do the convenes for this, I'll do the Oh I got Baijia. On the final one. And nope. So we'll just get back to the store real quick. Get an item exchange. Grab another radiant tide. Prisoners. I am here. Why hesitate if you know what you want? I don't think so, the trick physics are insane. I am here to serve your will. Yes. Um Yeah, I can't ascend at all yet. Hopefully we'll make new fine time for another adventure. Um, I have enough of those. I'm not sure what those are though. Hopefully we'll make new findings. I don't have any of those. I need, like some sort of red flower. Perfect weather for a walk today. Oh. Yeah, touchy. Oof. Oh, I can oh. level her up. Maybe not. Let me be there for everyone. As we head toward our shared future, leaving yes. the past behind. Why hesitate if you know what you want? I should try to smile more, you say? M nice pick! You won't regret choosing Alto's service. 
Didn't even realize I had those guys. Anyways, that'll be the end of this episode of um, Weathering Waves. Now, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. We've got some really intense gameplay going on. And, well, yeah, that was crazy. Anyways, that shall end up this episode. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.